are you going to listen to a podcast? Do you like scary podcasts? What's your favorite scary podcast? Well, it better be Guide to the Unknown. Welcome to Guide to the Unknown. I'm Will. No Kristen. I am here alone in our movie theater parking lot. I'm going to go see Scream 6 a second time, but we wanted to share our review with you. We've got our full review of Scream 6 right now on patreon.com slash gttu pod, uh, but we're going to play about 10 minutes of the spoiler-free stuff for you right here. You're going to get our thoughts. You're going to get our recommends right off the bat. Again, no spoilers. You've got nothing to worry about. You're in good hands. But what do we think of the movie? Um, we really, really get into it on Patreon, and I think you're going to enjoy this clip for sure. So if you do, if I'm right, head to patreon.com slash pod right after. Enjoy this clip, and uh, I'm going to go watch the movie. We'll see you on the other side. I am seeing it on Saturday morning. With Are you mind. really? Yeah. I'm seeing it tomorrow and on Sunday. Nice. Yeah. Hello and welcome to the Netherworld Dispatch with me, Will. And me, Kristen. Thank you so much for being here. We really hope you're liking everything on Patreon. And Will and I are going to talk about Scream 6, which we just got home from seeing. Genuinely drove home from the theater and mm -hmm. sat down, haven't said a word to each other at all. No. Not only that, Kismet, this is episode 100 of the Netherworld Dispatch. Yeah. So extra special shout out and thanks to all of you for supporting us, for backing us. Yes. There would be no need for an episode 100, let alone an episode five Definitely. without your support. So thank you. I've prepped a couple of fun things to show off in the video version if you watch with us, but we'll get to that stuff later because it's going to be in the spoilery side. Yep. And we'll also explain everything. So if you don't watch the video version, it's totally fine. Totally. Absolutely. We are going to start spoiler free. Mm -hmm. How do you want to start this? We usually go ahead and we gun out those recommends. Yeah. You want to do that? Sure. Sure. All right. Do All you right. recommend Scream 6? No spoilers. Yes. Yeah. I do. What about you? Yes. Okay, good. I do. Nice, nice. Okay, good. I love the way that you said it too, because there was a qualified yes. And I think that's approximately how I feel. Yeah. Did I love everything? Me neither. No. No. But if you look at this thing as at least the way that I sort of ran it in my head periodically, not that I took I think account. you're going to say the same thing. If you, moment for moment what's good versus what's bad, I come out a net positive. Yeah, same. And also, I think by this point, and I'm, it's only the second movie of this new reboot or whatever, but by this point, I think I have eased into this world and these people a little bit more. Agreed. It doesn't even like necessarily totally read to me as a Scream movie. I'm not comparing it as much to the previous four. Yeah. Um, so I'm kind of seeing it more is its own thing, although there are some moments that are like just such uh, distinct callbacks. That's like at no point do you forget it's a scream movie, but I don't have the same like baggage about it as I, I did going into the <clears throat> fifth one. Now I know like this is just a whole different kettle of fish. This is a different world. Let me just judge it as a movie without being. And I just naturally felt like this. I didn't even have to like really grind it into myself, but without being quite as nitpicky about like the legacy of the franchise or something, just watching it as a movie. Like, it's a good movie. And I hope that more movies like this come out. Like, yeah. I want more, like, fun, slasher, mystery, whodunity things. Like, is it a perfect Scream movie? I don't think so. No. But it's a fun movie to watch. And I wish there were more things like this out there. And I look forward to watching it again. I say roll credits. You you just said everything that I could possibly say. And okay. You said it perfectly. Thank you. I, I don't necessarily look at this like it's a... It doesn't feel like the movies that we grew up with. Right. <clears throat> it doesn't feel like it's even supposed to be or something. I, I don't know. No. But like to me, Scream was three movies and then they shocked us all by making a fourth. Mm -hmm. That's what Scream was. Totally. And, and my fondness for that is uh, uh, stored securely in a safe mm -hmm. and it's mixed with nostalgia. It's mixed with being a kid and encountering something like this for the first time yeah, um, and having his eyes opened by it. All of that stuff is secure and locked down now. Mm -hmm. Scream 5 and 6 now are a totally different animal. 
they occasionally show us characters and say they're people we've met before. Right. And even though they're played by the same people, I don't believe it. Nah. It doesn't feel right. No. They don't, they don't feel like who they who you're telling me they are. No, it, feel, it feels super weird. Like, even... It took me a little while to get in the groove with this movie, even. Like, it's not exactly like I was just like, okay, I'm in this world now, whatever. Like, they play um, without... I mean, it seems silly to talk about spoiling um, music, but I think it's it could be fun for people to hear it pop up or whatever. There would be pieces of old scores that would pop up, and I was like, this is so, like, incongruous. Yes. Like, why is this even in here? Pretend, yeah, I, I, I wish that they would... I wish that they would show less reverence for the past. Yeah, because it's so clearly something different. Yes. It, it seems when that happens in this, just odd. Yes, now. there is so much more of this, like... You know, I think about those Wes Craven Scream movies and they feel like fully fleshed out worlds to me yeah. that just exist on their own. It's a little pocket universe that you're looking into through a magic window. Mm -hmm. This five and six, I feel way more of like the God hand of the writer and the director. Yeah. And I feel them being like, we're going to play this character's theme now. Yeah. Not because the characters in the scene are reminiscing in a way that makes this music make logical sense. Mm -hmm. They're talking to the, it's like the, the, the voice of God is talking to the audience and going, here's what you should be feeling now. Yeah. It's a little distracting. And, or remember this. Yes, absolutely. There's a lot of the, the, like, I think that's been become known as like member berries. That was a South Park creation is this idea of like little nostalgic nuggets of just, it, I think in their context, it was literally a fat little grape being like, remember Jar Jar Binks? <laughs> Just like doing little things that are just yeah almost non sequiturs in the reality yeah. of the movie, but just speaking to the audience and going, here's something we know you used to like. Mm -hmm. And I feel them doing that a lot. Yeah. And it, I get it because I think they're fans as well. And I, I'm I sure that it comes from a place of honesty for them as creators. Mm -hmm. As an audience, though, I feel these obtrusive little, like all of a sudden the universe of this movie is paused for a second so that they can go, and remember this? How fond of this are you? And remember this is in the same universe as these other movies? Yeah, right. Even though it doesn't feel like no, that. No, it's not. Like, at all. Too much time has passed and these movies are about different things. Yeah, yeah. Which, now to look at things that we have said mm -hmm. uh, in the past. Yeah. Right? Like, I have been big on saying, like, this is the first Scream movie without Nev Campbell. Mm -hmm. And I think that's okay. Yeah. And I uh, came out of this movie going like, yeah, I'm right. Like oh, the, the, definitely. those the the Sydney screams are, are one through four. Yeah, she's not in five enough for that to be a Sydney scream. She makes a cameo almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel the same way. And this is just not her story anymore. And I've always wanted her to be happy somewhere. Mm -hmm. I think she's done. And I think this movie makes a great case for saying that's how it's going to be. Because yeah. All the behind the scenes stuff was they didn't offer Nev Campbell enough. And so crazy. she very publicly turned it down and planted her flag saying, I'm more about self-respect than taking a gig for less than I feel I'm worth. And good for her. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. If this if if things had panned out differently, like if Scream 5 and Scream 6 were different than they are, I would love Sydney to be keep going. I love seeing her. I feel like there is some way that I don't know, some way to keep that grooving. But being what they are, she doesn't feel like she belongs in that world. I would rather know that she's just off happy with her kids and Detective Mark Kincaid. Yes, she does not belong in this in these stories. They're not yeah. about Sydney. And no, and it's like uh, I boy, I can't think of what I'm trying to reference. But you know when somebody like from one universe in like sci-fi or something pops up in another universe and it, like ruins everything yeah. because they don't belong there. It feels weird. They don't fit. Yeah, she just doesn't belong. It's just a totally different thing. Totally. Different different thing couldn't agree more mm -hmm. i want to i think while we're still in the spoiler free side i think and it's difficult right like we're doing our review after having done one viewing of this yeah literally going to the movie theater there are other people in there there's other stuff going on and then we have to digest it fully and give you our perfect thoughts from soup to nuts it's tricky i know i was trying to stay in the movie because i could i caught myself a few a few times like formulating my opinion for I the agree. show mm -hmm. In a not organic way, obviously you watch things and form an opinion, but I was like thinking about what I'll say about it. And then I was like, no, nope, yep, you have <laughs> to stop. It. That's the, that's the tricky, <laughs> yeah. the brain of like performing and record, knowing you're going to record yourself. I agree. Yeah. I did the same thing, mm -hmm. but we can also talk about the audience. There was one guy. I definitely wanted to. 
one guy. What are you talking about? The snapping guy? The snapping guy. <laughs> oh my God. There was this guy. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear another guy that I'm going to talk about, but so no sp- continuing no spoilers. We're just yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. the audience. There was a guy like, I don't know, a handful of rows in front of us who was snapping away when something like that he liked was happening. Anytime he saw something that he enjoyed, Woo! those fingers were flying. Woo! The confidence I know. of somebody to be like, I know I'm in the, by the way, not in the back row. No, like dead middle. And we went to a dine, dine-in theater, yep. so the lights are not, it's not pitch black. No. All right? And he's, you can see the arm go up. Oh, yeah. And him start Both. snapping. It's both? Yes, both. <laughs> Makes me think of like Beetlejuice. I know. <laughs> he was like in front of me, row wise, yeah. and both of his arms were, oh my God. were going up. Some wild stuff. <laughs> wild stuff indeed. So, for more of that review, head to patreon.com slash gttupod. There's still more in the non spoiler side. And then when we unleash, ooh, we get into rankings of killers, all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. So go check that out. It's on the Demon tier, which means you're going to get access to 99 other shows. Also, all of our commentary tracks for 1 through 5. And whenever we drop a 6 commentary track, you're going to get that too. So go have some fun. Thank you for your support. And uh, until next time, out of the movie theater. Go on.